and welcome to GGI Friday! What the heck is GGI Friday? Yes, maybe I should explain that before making a joke that no one gets. So, today, we will be speaking about, in our rare occurrence, a penny stock. Yes, I know, you're gonna fillet me for this because I constantly say, you should not invest in penny stocks or you are not going to invest in a penny stock and have it go to 100. I believe were my words verbatim in my last episode. Ah, fiddle faddle. While I still believe this, I also, A, believe there's a place in stocks for gambling and betting, you know, for home run swings. And I'm a gambler at heart. Even when I go to Vegas, everyone knows when you pull the slots, you're probably not gonna win $40,000. But I play him anyway, cause you never know. And in this case, that could easily apply to the penny stock we're talking about, Green Globe International or GGII. And if you guys remember when we were growing up, there was a restaurant called TGIF. It exists still in certain places. So today is GGIF, get it? This is not the first episode that I've done on GGII. I've actually done a whole exploration using my Funhouse 5 rules of research. So I will link that video here in case you want more of the background. To give you a quick overview though, if this is the first time you're watching this channel or the first time you're seeing a video about Green Globe International, a synopsis is Green Globe International is a holding company which owns companies that are big players in the CBD and hemp market. A really important distinction here is, as it stands, they are non-THC. That doesn't mean that they won't get into it later. We don't know about that. But as it stands, they're a CBD and hemp company. And why non-THC matters is, they are legal to sell it right now in the US. <laughs> Some of the big partners of Green Globe International include Chi Chin Chong, Rick Ross, and of course, they own Hempaco. So, why GGII over the millions of other penny stocks out there that I could literally just close my eyes, throw some money in that I'm probably gonna lose, but hope for the best? Why is GGII different? Well, first, let me tell you a disclaimer on top of the one that was already in this video. Guys, betting penny stocks is dangerous. It's gambling. Yes, I am heretofore going to provide you a couple good reasons why you invest in this company over others. However, it being a penny stock, it is not worth even a dollar right now. So with these companies, I could research 24 hours a day I could tell you X, Y, and Z, but this is the wild, wild west. So invest with great discretion and caution, and please do not have this be the bulk of your portfolio, and please, please do not invest all of your money into this one stock. This is not Apple, okay? So if we look at this article here, from two weeks ago, I had an article saying, Green Globe International, announces revenue up 1,067% year over year for the nine months ended September 30th, 2022. And then right below in the subtext, acquisition of a nutraceutical manufacturing division and the strengthened financial position of the Hempaco subsidiary sets the stage for accelerated growth. This company went up over 1,000% in revenue last year, or I guess this year. First and foremost, we always say, results, results, results. Many penny stocks do not have even close to this kind of results, especially today. So that's a huge, huge plus in the favor of Green Globe International. It's also really important to note, they fully own Hempaco, which became a publicly traded company this year. Yes, this company has gone up, blah, 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 V. How much is the price of the stock? We haven't even got there. So the price is a walloping 
zero point zero zero two cents per share. What the hell is that? Well, that means it's a fifth of a cent. Let me say that again. A fifth of a cent, meaning one cent buys you five shares, 50 cents buys you 250 shares, and one dollar will buy you 500 share roonies of this penny stock. And so following that math, if you go higher and higher, obviously you'll get a stupid amount of shares. And that's what's exciting about penny stocks, right? It's you get to spend way less money and get a dumb number of stocks. And if that stock goes up, you've made a killing, right? That's the excitement. But much like going to Las Vegas, you must also have ration with your excitement. There are no guarantees. No, a nada. No guarantees, remember that. That being said, your boy made well over a hundred times his money earlier this year when I invested in this company. What's crazier still is that since that peak of when I made that money and sold some shares, it's come tumbling back down in this year, much like all the rest of the stocks. But unlike many penny stocks, this holding company actually has some substance to it. So let's talk about Hempaco. A wild, very wild ride for this company as well. If we look at the one year chart, even though they actually haven't been around for a whole year, uh, they've been around since this year. A wild ride. So on their IPO day, they went all the way to $41.80. $41.80 and they opened at, I think, six or seven, one of the two. So they absolutely skyrocketed and went bonkers on day one. So much so that they had to halt trading. And today, Mpaco sits at a whopping 85 cents a share. Yeah, 85 cents. So again, this is also in essence, almost a penny stock. But if we look at, if we zoom out and say, okay, we have a holding company that owns another company and then Hempaco has deals with Cheech and Chong and Rick Ross to produce their hemp blunt wraps. And big news for Hempaco on Thursday because they landed the leading e-commerce platform to sell its hemp blunt wraps. The company's name is Marijuana Packaging. And so under the terms of the agreement, Marijuana Packaging will sell the Cheech and Chong and Rick Ross hemp blunt wraps on their e-commerce platforms, including marijuanapackaging.com, smokecones.com, and 420packaging.com. So even though the stock price is not so good, you can see that the activity of these companies is very good. And in a space like CBD or just cannabis in general, even though they're not THC, still under the large umbrella of cannabis, they're partnered with huge, huge people. Cheech and Chong are legends and they are almost the logo of cannabis. They are the first people you think about. And then Rick Ross, a big, big, big name, huge. And now to be selling on the leading e-commerce platform, I think Hempaco has so much room to run. It doesn't matter what price I could forecast because if you don't know already, I'm not a price forecaster. But do I think Hempaco is gonna go higher than 88 cents in 2023? I do. And do I think GGII, who owns Hempaco, is also going to benefit from this? They can't not. And they're up 1,067% this year. And so, my dear friends and subscribers and peeps and bros and dudes and dudettes, even though I am the finance guy who believes in saving mutual funds and blue chip stocks. The reason I created my financial fun house is so that I could have a floor and a room 
for every type of investment style. This happens to live in the top floor of our house where we do the speculative investments. We do the penny stocks, we do the crypto, and we do companies that have high growth potential. So yes, things even like Neo and Lucid, they all live in the top floor. But guess what? We all reside under the same roof at my financial funhouse. I just believe that there's always room in every arena for having an open mind and delving into something that makes you uncomfortable. I will never have a penny stock be 50, 70, 80% of my portfolio, but I will also never be the person that says, oh, you're stupid for investing in X. Because guess what? Everyone's stupid till they make a million dollars and then they're a genius. Peace. <laughs> What's crazy is when I bought in, it was 0 0.0009 a share. I don't even know how to translate that, but that's what I bought it at. And it went all the way to nine cents. Crazy, right? So $90 of mine turned into 9,000. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not. Yes, you heard that correctly. 90 into 9,000. So imagine where my head went if I was like, why didn't I just invest 900 or like a thousand? Ah!